could be differences between studios too. So we used Photon with Lorraine, they know Photon like the back of their head, but the, the guys in Avalon don't know it, and they use some other technology in the past for multiplayer. Um, and they will always try to, they, they will always come to me really and say, we got a problem, you know, we don't know this tech, can we push back on the client? So then I go back to the client and I'll be like, look, we have a little bit of an issue here. It will take X more many months to, to get it done. Um, and uh, there's some risk to the project. Can we change the tech? And they will say, no way, this is our tech stack. That we will, yeah, integrated with all our stuff you know, that controls the universe. Um, in, in that case, you just have to keep the, the additional time and kind of do your research, figure out the, the kinks. It's possible that you have to like add an engineer. By the way, if you ask them, hey, you know there's a risk here, here's an alternate technology that mitigates the risk, and they say, no, we still want that risky tech, mm -hmm. then you can go back to them and say, All okay, right. but it'll they take another three engineering months to mm -hmm. figure out. So you can tax them for it. So. By this phase, how much of it do you actually reuse? I mean, there's a ton of work there that actually gets dropped, right? Like, for example, for the pitches, 90% of those are not actually yeah, no. yeah. useful. Yeah, clearly 90% fail rate um, for pitches. Or maybe at this? We also, for original IP, we tend to kill a ton at the concept and the prototype. Usually when you get into pre-pro, chances that you're gonna get killed drop significantly if you did everything right leading up to that point. Like you got your market research, you got you know you got your proto, you got your user testing done, focus group done, uh, happy cast happy uh, gamers, happy players, you know, done. If you if you hit all of those things, it's really just about proving that you can actually build a game mm -hmm. that you've been talking about all this time. <laughs> so can you make it pretty? Does it move smoothly? You know? Right. Okay. Does it like hit your design pillars? Uh, um, I can totally see a game that fails pre-pro. I can totally do it. And it's usually somehow the team was able to obscure the fact that they're out of their depth handling the, the key pillars, the requirements of the game, right? They cannot make a 3D game. You know, we get them 3D people, but they cannot make a 3D game. They cannot handle the engine, because maybe they tackled Unreal, and you know, they're not as good at Unreal as they thought. Or maybe they made a shitty decision on tech, and they chose like to do a proprietary engine, or I don't know, something that Hold, held them back significantly. Uh, we wouldn't let them do that, by the way. Proprietary engines. <laughs> um, but, you know, there are many other tech decisions they could make that can put them in a terrible situation where they cannot actually build a game. In pre-pro, you demonstrate that you can build a game that you've been talking about, okay? And that you can do it on a reasonable timeline with the resources offered, you know, given or requested initially, and then um, yeah, it's proto and pre pro are my favorite phases. It's really, you're doing incredible work here. From an artistic standpoint, this is when you make the game. You know, everything that you do afterwards, of course, it's, it's building the valuable, game, right? but this is when you bring your full creative vision into the world. It's your child, you deliver your child into mm -hmm. the world. And then you make more babies like it. <laughs> production. But production is the most complex phase. And I want to treat it with respect. So we'll tackle that tomorrow. Uh, because that's where most projects die. Most projects actually die in production. That's where development hell is created. Have you heard that term, right? Yeah. It's projects that never end. You know, it's like you, you wonder what the hell has happened, right? Production should be so regimented. Everything that could go wrong will go wrong in production. Uh, it will exacerbate all your deficiencies from earlier stages. Uh, and we'll talk about that in detail tomorrow. What I want to do right now is the following. I want to give you guys another break. And then I want to come back and start our uh, design exercise. And a design exercise that will continue through next day. And the reason we're going to engage in this design exercise is that I want to teach you guys some basic concepts of production. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's funny, right? That we, we choose a design exercise to choose, to teach concepts of production. Um, I think this would be fun for all of you. I can't wait to tell you all about it. But let's have a, a nice break, and then we can come back at four and thirty. How about that? Yeah, it's like twelve minutes.